Today represent the culmination of a 12 months effort by a festival committee to prepare a wonderful program of events celebrating the 19th festival. The theme this year, as you know, is Showtime. Please give as much support as possible to the festival. Thank you very much. Welcome to Festival Week 1993. It's a week of fun and enjoyment for the town put on by all of the organisations. In this film you will see how we enjoy the week, how we all work together and we hope that we will have many more festivals to come. There are many things from coffee mornings, baby shows, shows in the town hall, carnival parade, our big day on the Howdale when you will see all the festivities going around the Grand Ring. This is a free show for the town, no one has to pay and this we hope that they enjoy very much. In 1975 when I was mayor that the media said that Downham Market was a dying town. Here was a challenge for the town to prove it is not dead and therefore we started the festival. And here, this year, we're in the 19th year of the festival. It's put Downham on the map, it brought, it's brought organisations together, it brought the community together. And each year, we enjoy a week of fun and festivities. And it began after the raising of the festival flag and the opening of the French Dell Café, with horseshoe and pony shoe throwing competition in the Swan Hotel yard, organised by the Royal Antelouvan Order of Buffaloes, Who's Lodge. On the first Sunday in Festival Week, there are many organisations around the town organising their floats. This year's theme, Showtime in Downer Market, um, produced this entry from Downer Market Junior Gym Club, Cats. at the Live and Let Live, people are getting ready for the waiters and waitresses race around the town.
outside the town hall on the marketplace, uh, people are gathering for the town walk, organised by the Norfolk County Council Adult Education Service with Andrew Lane as the guide. Meanwhile, some of the waiters and waitresses are coming back, and um, the Live and Let Live won, incidentally. Unfortunately, the Downham Market Radio Control Club weren't able to fly their planes for very long due to a little rain on the Sunday. This did not deter the Downham Junior Gym Club getting their float ready though. Carnival Day and the final preparations are being made to the Howdale where it's all going to happen. Baker from uh, KLFM Radio arrives to officially open the Carnival 93. <music> Meanwhile, round at the Whissington Sports and Social Club, they're getting their float ready. down at the Green Railway Road outside Barker Brothers. They're, they're gathering there for the 9th Notorious Festival 5 and Fun Run. Route via Lynn Road, Broomhill, Millers Lane, Wimbledon, Clackclose Estate, Holly's Car Park and back to the arena on the Howdale. And down at Bird's Mill, the floats are assembling. They will leave from there and make their way towards the Howdale.
again we have our carnival parade and we have bands and flutes and many of the flutes are worked on throughout the year and we are always happy to see more and more flutes every year. So we ask all organisations to come along, bring a pram even or a small truck and just perhaps walk in the parade dressed up. And this we like to see, this makes the day of the carnival the great success it is.
you want to come along and join us, we're right up the back, you can see the bus, the sound of West Norfolk bus. It's nice to see so many people turn out here this afternoon to support what is a, a, an annual event. For me, a bank holiday event, something completely new for me, because in Scotland we don't celebrate bank holidays. Nothing else to say other than officially open and uh, go forth and spend your money and have a good day. Cheers. So in third place we have the Scouts. So if we could have a representative from the Scouts. And in second place we have the Whittington Sports and Social Club. I'm going to call upon uh, Councillor Andrew Canedley, the Deputy Mayor, to do the presentation there. And to first place goes to Dano Junior Gym Club. I've never heard a member of a gym club, so I've got to take my tail off before, have you? <laughs> And the best dressed young people's award float. And that has been a judge this year to go to the Scouts. The movements are not this good, guys. You have enemy martial art technique. That means a lot better. There is to show you the techniques and perform the techniques. Yes, well done. <laughs>
We have KLFM t-shirts, KLFM pens, all the goodies over there. Car stickers, if you haven't got one already, they're all there as well. Why is your name Baker? It's not allowed to be because mine is. Okay. And her father's name is Paul Baker. I am not her father. Can we just point this out very quickly? What animals will you find on the Donham Market Town sign? Horses it is! You get one CD. Now the thing is, the object of giving them one CD is that they get to talk to each other later and share a CD. What is the Down and Market Town Crest? My black song. Tell me you don't know. Oh dear. No prizes for that side. It is in fact a crown and two crossed arrows. We knew that. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, that's still out here. 
During Festival Week, there's always lots of things for children to do. On the Tuesday, there was Come and Play with the PPA at the Youth and Community Centre, organised by the Downer Market District Branch of the Preschool Playgroup Association.
And Tinker Taylor, the festival chairman, joined in with fun sports in the town hall with the Reverend Peter Keeling. throughout the week, clubs who put on open days, such as the otters in the swimming pool, in which you will see the improvement that disabled people who are in the pool go through a series of exercises, and as they go through the exercises, you can see the improvement in their physical well-being, they enjoy the afternoons together, and everyone is very happy with the results of the swimming.
Nice for that palm, palm to palm. Keep walking. Change direction. Gently does it. Good. Are you all relaxed? You're not nodding off. She's gone to sleep. Linda also goes to sleep. I think that's a nice exercise to finish up with. Now, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We always have great pleasure every Tuesday when we come here. They're a terrible lot to try and keep under control. And this mic is very good because at least they can hear me. <laughs> And in the evening, at the Memorial Playing Field, there was a Patonk Pairs competition, organised by the Downer Market Twinning Club. Patonk, or Bull, is a French version of the English game of bowls, played with unbiased metal balls. Wednesday, and a selection of material entered for the Children's Craft Show. the town hall on Wednesday morning for the children there was the Magic Circus Children's Show with Jingles the Clown and Sparky his assistant. Yeah. 
And every day during the week, there was a chance to see the art exhibition in the Town Hall Assembly Room by members of the Downham Art Circle. Here we have a Silverdale Open Day in which you see housebound people who come out for the day to enjoy meal, hospitality of the hard workers and volunteers of the Silverdale Centre and it gives them a day out away from four walls and this I think for old people is most essential that they feel part of the community. Wednesday afternoon saw one of those rare occasions when the giant drafts board at the side of the market square was used in the knockout drafts competition. And at the Methodist Church, the Tufty Club invited children to come along for the under fives fun afternoon.
There were also several chances during the week to visit the new health centre in Paradise Road. Thursday morning began with the presentation of the best dressed window. <laughs> Congratulate you on uh, thank you. winning the uh, best oh, shop winner. Thank you very much indeed. The one over here. It was absolutely oh, this superb. one. Yeah. Oh, thank absolutely. you. Oh, well, that's exciting stuff. So, uh, we have a little trophy oh. here for you, which uh, Miss Dan and myself are going to present to you. Lovely. Thank you very much. A very new trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Howard. No well, thank you. One to, uh, oh, that's lovely. There's a lot of good entrants this year. Excellent. Mm. Well, it's nice that so many people, you know, take part and they'll brighten us up the town, etc, etc. <laughs> <laughs> She's switched on already. <laughs> there we go, we're looking on this end of the water. Come on. I'll take one or two, stay with me. Okay. See you, Brian. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. Right. Come on, Sam, let's have a good one. Right. Can you? Organised by the West Norfolk Southern Area Road Safety Committee was a cycling proficiency competition at the Clackclose Primary School Nelson site in Paradise Road. It included a test of your highway code and a check on your cycle. And of course the festival wouldn't be the festival without the annual baby show at the Youth and Community Centre. Uh, what we would like to do is to have the birth to six months age group first. But especially I'm delighted to welcome for the 11th and 2nd year Dorothy Twist who comes from the hospital at Kingsley. She is, uh, has gradually worked her way up the scale over the 11 years and she is now deputy head of the midwifery services at the hospital and Dorothy is here to do the judging this afternoon. Louisa 
Preston. moving some of the chairs out of the way was the fancy dress. The judges found it very difficult as they always do, you know. It's, there are so many tremendously good ideas for fancy dress, particularly with the theme of showtime, you know, which is what we are looking for particularly today. In third place, we have Jessica Bridge, who is a mermaid. Please come to Mr. Adam, who has her own hair. Second place goes to Damien, our Carola Masters. And in first place, I'm afraid we don't know the name. It's, it's the clown with the pink feather duster, is how you would explain to me. And the name, of course, is Jade May. Sweet from Julie. 
Thank you very much to everybody for coming this afternoon and taking part. We hope you've had a reasonably good time. Special thank you to Julie for doing the organising and to the people who have been doing the presentations throughout this afternoon and the journey. Thank you very much indeed to everybody. We have the Silver Threads Club and I now am a member of that club. There you can see the enjoyment enjoyed by these people every Thursday afternoon throughout the year. Our thanks go to all the helpers who week after week supply them with tea and cakes and sandwiches and look after their well-being.
this down the market to bring you all a Twix bar. No, you don't get one. Good night, Helga. I would, if you're taking them to pieces, I would like the pins and the bits of ribbon and the feathers back because we may need them again. Could you please give them a big clap? Each morning during Festival Week, there is a coffee morning which you can go to. Friday's was in the Town Hall Bar Room, organised by members of Dan and Wives Club. Also in the town hall for the children was the children's film show. Beethoven was showing. This was presented by Downham Arts. And I asked some of the children what Beethoven was all about. A funny dog who gets up with lots of tricks. Does he really? Yeah. Have a seat. <laughs> what would happen if he jumped on you? Would like you really? Would you like a doggy like that? No. You wouldn't? No. What sort of things might you get up to? Uh, chase the cats around. Really? You think you'd better catch him easily then? No. You don't think you would? Do you think you'd manage to take him for a walk? Or would he take you for a walk? <laughs> you'd get, take me for a walk. And at the Youth and Community Centre, there was a chance for three to six year olds to go along to the children's messy play morning organised by the Bexwell Road Playgroup. What's that going to be then? It's going to be Mr Blobby. Mr Blobby? Oh, you like Mr Blobby, do you? How does Mr. Blobby speak? Over here, then. What are you drawing? Pardon? Something I don't know. Oh. So. What's that then? So what? Oh. Is that good fun?
On the Saturday there was the Country Day on the Howdale, and amongst other things there was the gym display, taekwondo, children's sports and games, helicopter display, and the Prince and Princess competition. Alright, so uh, whilst the judges are making up their mind, I just point out that the lady in front is not actually in the competition. Made up their minds, the judges have, and now they're going to bring to me the one that they have chosen for third place. We find that's the easiest way, and then we can ask the young lady her name. Third place in the princess competition, and your name, madam, is? Sarah. So we have Sarah, then, in the third place. There we have a second place princess with a pretty little crown. It's nearly prettier than yours, isn't it, Sam? And your name is? Lucy. So we've got Lucy. Lucy for the second place. Well done, Lucy. OK, off you go and get your certificate. And in first place, we had who? A very proud little lady. What's your name? Cara. No, Cara. Cara. That's a lovely name, isn't it? Unusual. Well done, Cara. What about a big round of applause for our princess for the day? Who do we have in second place, then? So this was the second place, Prince. And what's your name, young sir? Harrison. Harrison? That's an unusual name. Come and talk to me. What's your name? Gregory. Gregory? I've, I've seen you somewhere else this week, haven't I? Where were you then when I saw you last? Baby show. You weren't in the baby show. In the fancy dress competition, were you? Okay, well done then, Gregory. What about a round of applause for our Prince of the Day then, ladies and gentlemen? And some of these are only, uh, have only been members of the gym club for the last, or since the beginning of this last term. So they're very new to the activity, some of them are. Very important you notice that uh, all the groups have a trainer with them, somebody to watch them, to catch them. <laughs> See, what we've done is actually change the groups around so that uh, those that were working on the box the youngsters are now doing the rolls, use of the springboard.
match for the members of the Dan and Junior Gym Club. Left hand drive, you notice. All right, this car is a Ford Anglia called Wilma. And we have a few details about this. It belongs to Colin French. Uh, it's a Ford, Ford Anglia E494A. 1949 registered, first registered, 933cc, three-speed gearbox, with six-volt electrics. Standard 10 van, the only one known in East Anglia, four in this country, 17 in the world. Makes this van very interesting, because you'll be lucky if you see another one. Very lucky. I've been rallying since 1979, I've only seen one in that time, and I go up to 30 or 40 rallies a year. And the next car into the arena, do we need to introduce this one? Earlier in the day, the youngsters in the Prince and Princess competition were privileged to have a ride around the arena in this Super Rolls Royce. And now we're going to ask the gentleman what his name is and tell us a little bit about the car. Thank you very much, sir. It's a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow Mark I. It's 1972. Um, I've only previously had it since last August. Uh, it's been a better bit of time. Uh, it's got a 6.7 V8 engine under the bonnet, uh, which uh, doesn't get me very far on the gallon of petrol, unfortunately. But uh, we have got it out to have a look at. Well, thank you very much indeed. And don't forget, if you've got a wedding coming up or a special occasion, it is available for hire. And I suppose it is about two gallons of petrol just riding around the arena today. But we're very pleased to see it here, a beautiful car. Right. Oh, hard luck, and shot. See you. Hard luck, break. Yes. And break. Yes, too easy. I told you to put more on there. Basically, non-contact martial art free sparring means the target area is anywhere. They can kick and punch to the back of the head. They can kick to the spine. They can kick to the groin. They can use the fingertips to the eyes. Basically, because the attackers say they're not going to make the contact. If a person is too slow to block, then the techniques won't hit him. All right, but we do encourage people to block because to be safe, to block and get out of the way, obviously, to be safe. We cannot do full contact sparring. You're going to see semi-contact for competitions later on. Bearing in mind, some of these people are very young and very old. Richard Patton. Yes! That's the first time Rebecca's done that for a demonstration. We're taking you through the sequence of the sparring before they go on to free sparring. This is free step sparring with set attack and defensive techniques. Fast you can! Fast! Yes! You need the speed on the techniques to make it work, but you also got to not be afraid of the pain. Well done. You get score, it all depends what point you're going for. A hand technique to the body or to the head is one point. Jumping hand technique is two points. Leg technique to the body is one point. Leg technique to the head is two points. Flying technique to the head is three points. Now step round and keep up the front leg. Yes, well done. Well done. And the obviously a King Charles Thomas and Spaniel. Three years old.
So that was Tony Al called Sam and, and owned by Chris. That's the first place here. In second place, we have a crayfish called Ronnie, owned by Cara. Now how on earth you judge a horse, a tortoise, a crayfish, all in the same category. That's why he keeps getting on to me and putting them into that group. Well done, Cara. Our princess, who are they, in fact? What about a special round of applause for all the contestants, ladies and gentlemen, and a very great thank you for them taking part. We're sorry you've had to sit in the sun for so long, but then we're pleased you've had to sit in the sun because it could have been raining, couldn't it? Thank you very much indeed. Well, that was a much better pull on the part, the, hunt, the part of the mums anyway. Well done, everybody. Last day of festival week, the second Sunday, there was a chance to spend a relaxing day at Denver Sailing Club when they held their open day.
and back in Downham in the afternoon there was homemade kite flying on the Howdale. And then finally it was time to gather on the marketplace for the songs of praise with friends from St Edmund's Church and to lower the festival flag. Good evening again ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Songs of Praise, which just this year was done by the St. Edmund's Church. I introduce you to the Reverend Keeling. We've come out for two reasons. First of all, so the band can get some fresh air and have a breather after all the heat in the air. And second, so you can have a go and not just listen. You might think it's the, the right place to have a service, but praise is in church and we always used to do. But in the last few years, we've had our final act of worship out in the open air. Because God, it seems to me, is not somebody who's just concerned about what happens in church, but about everything that happens in every corner of the world and in every corner of our lives, not just the religious people. So we sing a hymn for the end of the day, a hymn for the end of our festival, the day thou gave us Lord. A 
At the end of Festival Week, although we've enjoyed a week of festivity and fun, we are very pleased for a restful respite from our work. But again, with sadness, we say the end of the festival and then we have to think about the next one. My intention was that this would be a yearly event, but I'd never dreamed that we would be going into next year, 94, into the 20th year of the festival. And I say, long may it rain for the happiness and welfare of the people of Denmark. Festival. 